MS Dhoni has been a household name for decades now. Imagining Indian cricket without Dhoni is like imagining Vada Pao without the Vada. It just doesn't make sense. Dhoni dominated the field and my heart like nobody's business for 16 years, ladies and gentlemen. But then came the year 2020. I know, I know, I should have given a trigger warning before mentioning that God forbidden year. In essence, Dhoni's journey from international retirement to becoming a stalwart of the IPL circuit exemplifies his unconventional yet deeply impactful approach to the game, further solidifying his status as one of cricket's most iconic figures. It's in the air! It's a six! Hello, my name is Cyrus Brocher and welcome back to IDFC First Bank Century of Cricket Podcast. And before we talk a little more about that terrible year, here is a fun IDFC first fact about Thala. Dhoni holds a unique record in IPL by being the only player in IPL history to be bid on by all eight teams during the inaugural auction back in 2008. 2020 was a terrible year for everyone around the globe. In August of the same year, Mahindra Singh Dhoni announced his retirement from international cricket. And I think we should thank Dhoni for that because the news distracted the entire nation from that other thing which was there, you know, that what you want well and all that. But after the shock settled, people soon took a breath of relief because we soon realized that just because he was retiring from international cricket, that did not mean we couldn't get to see Mr. Cool in action again. He was still going to continue playing in the IPL. At 42, Dhoni is still in the business of defying the impossible and delivering boundaries for Chennai Super Kings at 42. I mean, if it were up to Chennai Super Kings, they would probably let him play on a wheelchair as former Indian cricketer Robin Uthappa recently suggested. And I'm sure fans would still flock to the stadium to see Mahi Wicket keep sitting on a wheelchair. That actually sounds very cool. I don't mind watching this kind of game. But it is remarkable the way in which Mahi has reinvented himself into a powerful lower order power hitter that is worthy of both discussion and standing ovation. He plays a few balls, hits everything to smithereens. The Indian Premier League kicked off in 2008 with the inaugural auction in Bangalore in February 2008 and MS Dhoni was the most expensive player then. Actually, I was also going to bid in the auction, but unfortunately, I wasn't using IDFC First Savings Account at the time, which credits interest directly into your bank account every month. I missed my chance because of that, man. It's been 16 years, 16 years since the inaugural auctions, and Mahi still continues to be the most valuable and unique player in all of IPL and in cricket in general. An ageless giant who can pretty much walk into any side in the league on the basis of his captaincy acumen alone. And also, Chennai and Dhoni represent a unique relationship, a kind of relationship which is very rare, novel and instantly recognizable. A bit like Messi and Barcelona, or Michael Jordan in Chicago, or me and Jim Shorts. You can't think of one without automatically picturing the other, it's just not possible. Even in Chennai, a city which is full of larger-than-life film superstars, shrewd politicians who are worshipped by millions and millions of people, he is still one of the living legends of not just South India, but entire India. Alright, uh, I'm also quite the legend. Uh, wherever I go in Valkeshwar area of Malbar Hill, which is a small little hamlet somewhere where the poor live, people call me by my name. Hey. Sorry, I digress. Anyway, despite all of these things, Dhoni stands out as a singular obsession for the entire city, especially during the IPL season. It's fascinating to think that a sharp-witted but calm and composed man from the small town of Ranchi ended up captivating not just the city of Chennai, but the entire nation with his charm and unbelievable talent and love for the game. For over a decade and a half, Chennai has seen their idol conjure magic on the cricket field with both brawn and brain. There's something about Dhoni uh, stepping onto the field which gives the city and the team a reason to believe and have hope. It was Dhoni's captaincy many, many years ago which led CSK to appear in 10 finals out of the 14 seasons they have played and they won the title five times. Last year's triumph in the final at the Narendra Modi Stadium in Ahmedabad was CSK's fifth IPL title, tying them with the Mumbai Indians as the kings of the most riveting sporting event in the world. And if we are talking about the IPL 2023, we have to talk about Dhoni's evolution at this later stage of his career. He played the 2023 season with worn-out knees, self-admittedly went in with a very clear strategy, bat at the death and just keep hitting. Just get a few balls and smack, 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 smack. Unlike many players at the end of their careers, Dhoni understood and was self-aware about where his strengths lay and what he needed to do in order to maximize his efficiency. He was one of the pioneers of running between the wickets, but he soon realized that his body would no longer allow for it. As a result, he took an all-guns blazing role and even came out to bat as low as number 8 on several occasions. This acceptance and change in strategy to make sure that his team doesn't suffer is one of the reasons why he was an astounding leader and a brilliant captain. 
And while some must have assumed that Thala is starting to lose his grip on the pitch because of his age, the first two sixes of the first two balls he faced by fast bowler Mark Wood, arguably the fastest in the world, in CSK's home season, shut all those theories down almost immediately. And he did not stop there. The absolute carnage continued against Punjab Kings where he batted at number 6 and made 13 runs of 4 balls with 2 sixes. Believe it or not, actually you better believe it because it's a fact that Dhoni's strike rate in IPL 2023 was his best ever in all IPL seasons that he's taken part in, which is every season. Yeah, this is after he has retired from international cricket and at the age of almost 42. Dhoni hit 10 sixes in IPL 2023, the same as he did in IPL 2022. But while he was averaging 1 6 every 18 balls in 22, that number came down to a staggering 6 every 6 balls in IPL 2023. But of course, such a high risk, high reward strategy doesn't always pay off. Those who live by the sword sometimes also get out to the first ball. That's just the nature of the game. Dhoni got out for a golden duck when CSK had their backs to the wall in the finals. But Dhoni wasn't worried because he knew that one of the old guards of CSK, Ravindra Jadeja, would carry them to the finish line and that is exactly what happened. And in the end, yellow fans found comfort in the fact that all's well that ends well. Many speculated that Dhoni would retire from all forms of cricket after his last dance was complete and respectfully so, but he surprised everyone by expressing his desire to play one more season as a gift to his fans. And inspired by Dhoni, today I am announcing that I will also be continuing talking to people on my podcast. For as long as I can talk, I shall talk. Now, I didn't have any plans to quit, by the way, but I thought, why not make an announcement to all my fans? Because, you know, Dhoni fans, my fans, same fans. That, folks, is the end of this episode. Thank you for watching another episode of IDFC First Bank Presents Century of Cricket. And don't forget to go to your nearest IDFC First Bank branch and get yourself a savings account which makes money for you. Across all the 17 seasons of IPL, we've always seen raw talent expressing themselves in front of quality international players and getting the due credit for performing well. Now, the players who are selected for their skill set actually get to test themselves while executing their plans as they play against the best of the best. While some fail, oh, like me in my acting career, some get validation not only from the fans but also from the national team selectors.